Hey everybody, my name is Brian Green, technical agronomist for DECAP Astro, covering Northeast Kansas and Northwest Missouri. With planting season wrapping up for many, and while many others still have a ways to go on soybean and potential corn replants, I wanted to give a brief crop condition and staging update from an agronomic perspective today. All right, so we're at the field. So for those corn acres planted in April and early May, those plants are either at or quickly approaching a very critical growth stage, which would be V6 or six fully developed leaves. So to double check your growth stage, locate the first true leaf, which would be the smallest leaf near the soil surface and more than likely has a rounded tip. Begin counting the fully developed leaf collars from there until you can determine your growth stage. For those plants, which more than likely is gonna be across the board, that are hitting V6, V7, V8, that leaf has already been sloughed off. So how we count our corn plants from there is to cut the stalk in half, as you can see here, split it right down the middle to the root system, and then what we're gonna to wanna to do is come down here to the very tip to the crown, and that first node above the inner node of that crown is gonna be leaf collar number five. So the crown's gonna have four, this will be five, and then begin counting up there, so six, and then this one, is really close to seven, so I'll go ahead and call this a V7 plant, um, but then it, from there on out, they're not fully developed leaf collars yet, and then we can already see our tassel starting to form. So once you have developed and determined that your corn is officially V6 and grow staging, we are now entering a period of critical importance. First, the growing point is now above the soil surface. So this is significant because this increases the susceptibility of the corn to hail, frost, or wind damage. If the plant gets snapped off at the soil surface, this corn plant is now dead. Second, the corn is now entering a period of rapid growth. This is really the first time in the plant's life cycle that nutrient uptake is greatly enhanced, especially nitrogen. So with a large portion of Eastern Kansas and Western Missouri succumbing to such heavy rainfall events, application of nitrogen in season to ensure our corn plants are not lacking in this department is gonna be critical. There sure seems to be a lot of pale and yellow looking corn acres across the geography, so make sure you consult with your local retailer and agronomist about plans to sample for nitrogen levels and develop a great strategy. Lastly, the number of kernel rows is being determined and shortly after that begins the determination of how many kernels per row. So this season so far has definitely been brought um, another unique set of challenges, but through proper scouting and planning, I know we can get through these and set ourselves up for another successful year. Thanks for tuning in to today's agronomic update from the field. As always, check out our team YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter accounts for weekly publications and give, a, give them all a like. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks.